Hi and welcome to MRTV. In this video, I'm going to tell you all the results of my big HP Reverb T2 test series. I want to find out if there are production variances, especially for the lenses, because we've heard so many different kind of experience reports. Some people are satisfied with the sweet spot and with the edge to edge clarity, while others are not. So I want to find out what are the reasons for these different reports. To make this happen, members of the German VR community have sent me these headsets here and especially those members of the community who were not happy with the sweet spot so I could compare those headsets with mine. Also, I have compared all of the displays to find out are the displays all the same or are there production variances again. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel here is all about virtual reality as you can tell. I'm bringing you independent XR reviews that are very thorough and you're getting the latest news. So if you're into virtual reality then absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. And I totally understand that you're all now keen to find out about the results. So all of these owners of these headsets were unhappy about the sweet spot. So from one to 10, where one is bad and 10, 10 is great sweet spot, they all said that is like a one to three or so really unhappy about the sweet spot. So is there a difference between these headsets and my headsets? And is there any production variance? The answer is, Absolutely no, no difference whatsoever. All of these headsets are exactly the same. They have exactly the same lenses and there's absolutely no difference between my headset that I've tested here for weeks already and these headsets, exactly the same lenses. So no production variants whatsoever. And also in terms of production quality or in terms of build quality, all exactly the same. I've checked like the IPD adjustment. Is there any difference in how easy or hard it is to move it or about the lenses, how they are like, um, how good they are built into the headset? Are they loose or something? They're all exactly the same, the same quality. So no production variants whatsoever. And I can just say HP did a good job here in terms of the QA, they are all really exactly the same. And I've also documented these results in through the lens footage, so I'm going to show that to you now. This is my reference headset, the one that HP sent to me, and as you can tell, very nice sweet spot, very easy to find. You simply go in and that's it. So now let's compare this with the other ones. And I'm simply going to show you some of them. So this one here, as you can tell, exactly the same sweet spot, exactly the same edge to edge clarity, and there's no difference whatsoever. So next one, this one, another label and another Reverb G2 and exactly the same, exactly the same sweet spot, exactly the same edge to edge clarity. Let's go for another one here and here, Specimen E. Specimen E had exactly the same sweet spot and also exactly the same edge to edge clarity. So I'm only showing you here a part of the test. Of course, I did not only do the camera test, I also put them on by myself and looked through those with my own eyes. And these tests also revealed that the lenses are exactly the same, same clarity, same edge to edge clarity and same sweet spot. And indeed, for all the headsets that were sent to me. Now with this test series, I've shown that the likelihood of production variants is very small because, well, for all of these headsets, they're all the same. And these headsets already come from people who were unhappy with the sweet spot. So what is the reason for these different accounts with lots of people being happy about the sweet spot, but also lots of people being unhappy about the sweet spot. So for this now we have two reasons. That is at least my conclusion. First of all, really that the people have different kinds of head shapes and different kinds of IPDs and it absolutely also depends 
on your head shape and the distance between your eyes to the lenses because that might be completely different if you're wearing glasses, for example, or if simply your eyes are further away from the lenses because probably your eyes are deeper in the skull than for other people. And the distance between your eyes and the lenses does make a difference for the sweet spot. So if you suffer from a bad sweet spot, then Try out the Frankenfoff mod that I've shown you here. This can absolutely help you to get closer to the lenses. Also, if you're wearing glasses within the lens, this can also be a factor. And for that, I could tell you, go for lens inserts. And I'm going to show you these lens adapters that you can put onto the G2 lenses in a video that is coming up here on the channel. Moreover, I found out that I have the best sweet spot and the best clarity with an IPD setting, which actually was not my official IPD. So I have an IPD of 64 millimeters, but when I was playing around with the IPD adjustment, I found out that I have the best clarity with 65 to 66 millimeters. So that is something interesting and you should absolutely play with that IPD also. From the questionnaires, I found out that people with a bigger IPD had a worse sweet spot. So if you have like 70 millimeters, probably this might already be too big of an IPD for the G2, even though they say they have an IPD of like 60 to 68 millimeters. And then, yeah, well, then 70 is already out of that. Yeah, so I would be like a bit wary if you have like a big IPD, probably you're not going to find a great sweet spot here with the G2. Also, another thing was really interesting. Nearly all of the headsets that were sent to me had the middle strap not adjusted. It was still in the same position like HP sends them out. And with this position, you can't really put that head strap into the correct position. The correct position is this here should be completely down and like grasping the back of your head. But with this here not adjusted, it's not possible and you're going to put it on somehow like this. So very important when you have the G2, do adjust the middle strap and do it like this and give your head more space here like this. So like this, now you can put it down so that the headset will be in a better position to get the perfect sweet spot. So that is absolutely important. Don't forget this part here. The second big reason for the negative experiences or the negative feelings are, in my opinion, the expectations or wrong expectations and the headsets that they had before. So from the questionnaire, I could tell that the people who had these negative experiences or the negative feelings about the sweet spot they either did not have a VR headset before or they came from headsets with better sweet spot and with better edge to edge clarity, like for example, the PSVR or the Oculus headsets, the Rift S or the Quest 1 and the Quest 2. Because the Quest 1, Quest 2 and the Rift S, they have a bigger sweet spot and better edge to edge clarity. And as always, if you come from a headset or from any kind of tech that is better and then you kind of look at something that is not as good, then this will catch your attention and you will see it much, yeah, much clearer than other people who probably come from another headset. Like for example, the Windows Mixed Reality headsets like the Odyssey, the Odyssey Plus, the Lenovo Explorer or any of these headsets because these headsets have a worse sweet spot than the G2. Also like for example, if you're coming from the Cosmos or the Cosmos Elite or even the Index, because the Index in my opinion, or in actually in the AB comparisons, it can also have a worse sweet spot depending on the distance from eye to lens that you put into the Index. So it absolutely depends on which headset you're coming from and not everyone has the option like me to have all the headsets and to be able to compare them. Because if you put this into perspective and if you compare the G2 lenses to all the other lenses that are out there, actually these are good lenses with a good sweet spot and they are better 
than lots of other lenses. And actually, if you also look at something like God rays, these lenses are amazing because they have less God rays than even the, the Rift S and the Quest 1 and Quest 2 lenses. So overall, these lenses are really nice. So lots of things determine your experience with the sweet spot and the edge to edge clarity. What is your IPD? Did you find the right IPD setting? How close are your eyes to the lenses? Do you wear glasses? What headset did you have before? Are you coming from a headset with a better sweet spot and edge to edge clarity? Or are you coming from a headset with a worse edge to edge clarity and sweet spot. So all of these things are coming together. I can just tell you me comparing these lenses with all the other lenses. These are good lenses with a good sweet spot. Edge to edge clarity is also good for me, but it's not perfect. Then I also check the displays. Is there any kind of difference as far as the colors are concerned? Or Mura, is there any visible Mura for all of the headsets? And I can tell you there is no production variance actually for these headsets. They are all the same. They have all the same great colors, way better colors than with the G1, for example, and actually lots of other headsets. Very, very nice colors. However, I could see some Mura, and that was the same for all of the headsets. It's way better than the G1. The G1 had lots of Mura, and it really looked like you're looking through a dirty windshield. But for here, no. But if you would find some kind of background with all the same color, like for example, if you would like look at the ceiling in the Windows Cliff House, which is completely white, then you could tell that there is some Mura and it's like horizontal lines, very fine horizontal lines. But only if you really look very, very close. If you want to find that, you can find it in a white background. And that was exactly the same for all of these headsets here. So it was not that, okay, there's one headset where you don't have this at all, and then the others have it. No, it was through the bank. They all had this very fine little Mura, but you cannot see it at all in games or if you normally use it, only if you find like a white or a uniform colored background and really want to find it. Then you can find these horizontal lined Mura. As far as the production quality is concerned, I also compared this headset and I checked if the IPD slider slides in the same way for all of these headsets, if the lenses are put into the headsets the same way, or if I could see any kind of difference for these headsets. And I could not. They are all exactly the same. So again, for the quality assurance, HP did a good job here. They are all exactly the same. In my opinion, we've learned a great deal here with this test series that I conducted with the HP Reverb G2. There is no production variance, at least that I could tell from this test. And all the lenses are the same. All the displays are the same. The build quality is the same. So I hope that this can give you some peace of mind with your Reverb G2. And if you feel that the sweet spot is not good enough. There are ways to improve it, like for example, with the Frankenforth mod, getting your eyes closer to the lenses. And if that doesn't work for you, probably it is because of your IPD, that it's probably too big or you're used to a better sweet spot from other lenses. And well, you have to then deal with this kind of sweet spot and this kind of edge to edge clarity that the Reverb T2 offers you. Now with this test series, I'm finally satisfied with my testing and I can go on and give you a final Reverb G2 review and I'm going to work on this in the coming weeks. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up and absolutely do it for the algorithm. And for the same reason, also write a comment and let me know what you think of this test series. Now, if you love this channel and if you want more content from me and if you want to support independent reviews and thorough reviews just like this one here, then become a member of the MRTV Elite, my Patreon channel. It's only going to set you back one dollar and well, you're going to get results and reviews like this one way earlier. So simply go to MRTVElite.com and become a member of the MRTV Elite. Now that's it. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, absolutely do that now. Click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.